Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to stabilise heavy particles in formulas using garnet and quartz. Now I'm going to stabilise these materials in a surfactant product, one of the hardest types of products to stabilise such heavy particles. So let me show you how it's made. Now this is the product we're going to be making here and it's a beautiful foaming facial exfoliant. Using garnet and quartz as my exfoliating materials. Now what I'm doing here is I have some quartz and I have some garnet and I also have some sparkle mica. The reason I'm using this is it gives a really nice reflective property. You probably can't see too well on video here but in the actual product it gives that little bit of reflection and it mirrors the whole garnet quartz story really nicely. So that's used for visual effects while my garnet and quartz are providing the exfoliating benefits. Now to give you an idea of just how heavy these particles are, there's five grams combined weight of these materials on this watch glass. You compare that to five grams by weight of jojoba beads, really light exfoliating particles. And you start to get an idea of just how heavy these particles are. And of course, heavy particles in a formulation can tend to sink straight to the bottom if not stabilized effectively. So how am I going to stabilize them in a foaming product? I'm using a special material called Van Natural XGB. Now this is a mixture of bentonite and xanthan gum. The xanthan gum helps build some viscosity to my formula, but it's the bentonite that's really stabilizing these heavy particles. When I put the bentonite into the formula, I use high shear to break the material into a house of cards structure. And it's this house of cards structure that's going to support the heavy particles in this formula throughout its shelf life. Polymers just simply aren't enough to stabilize such heavy materials. Over time, they'd sink to the bottom. But my house of cards structure, when formed properly, will stabilize these heavy particles for two to three years. Now I do need to use some high shear with this material to activate that house of cards structure. So I have my water here and I'm just going to add my Van Natural XGB to the water and give it high shear for 10 minutes. Now that it's been high sheared, I'm just going to transfer it to a larger mixing bowl. Now remember the bentonite doesn't build viscosity, that's what my xanthan gum is doing. Now that I have the bentonite fully activated, I'm going to add my sodium copolis ethanate. And I'm adding this in a powder form so that it goes into the formula really easily with low shear because otherwise it'll end up with a big bowl of foam. And I'm also going to add my super fatting agent. I'm using Tego Soft PC31. I find this beautifully soft on the skin. It supports the foaming cleansing action of my primary surfactant, but it provides a beautiful conditioning feel to this product on application and on wash off. And to this, I'm going to add my garnet quartz and my sparkly mica. Next, I'm going to add my essential oils, antioxidant and preservative, and then check and adjust the pH. And there we have our garnet and quartz face scrub stabilized using the Van Natural XGB to help hold those very heavy particles in suspension throughout the shelf life of the product. While the garnet and the quartz have a fantastic story to tell the consumer and a beautiful polishing effect on the skin, it's the sparkle mica that really sells the color and form of this product. And of course, it wouldn't be stable without that Van Natural XGB. 
just make sure you process it properly to get that house of cards structure for the long-term stability for your heavy particles. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to stabilize heavy particles using garnet and quartz as my hero ingredients. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.